In the world's largest market for electric vehicles, this is a glimpse at the future. At Shanghai's International Auto Show this year, the heavyweights aren't GM or Ford. It's massive improvement in terms of the user experience. They're Chinese brands like BYD, Li Auto, Xpeng, and Zeker, making sleek-looking cars that are high-tech and affordable. When you drive a Chinese vehicle today, it's far different than 10 years ago. They are better built, and the quality overall is much more competitive with what you would see from a U.S. automaker or from a European brand. Foreign automakers, including American brands, are now paying attention to Chinese players like BYD. It's number one in China. And the competition is now so intense, it sparked an EV price war here. NIO cut its prices by nearly 10 percent on all models. Competition is fierce, says CEO William Lee. You can be ahead today, but not in a few months. The boom in electric vehicles is why China is now the largest auto exporter in the world, tripling in just five years to overtake Japan. That's thanks largely to sales in Europe, as most major Chinese brands aren't yet available in the U.S. due to tariffs put in place during the Trump administration. Any vehicle built in China and exported to the United States comes with a 25 percent tax on it. That just makes those vehicles far more expensive, and it's hard for them to be competitive here in the U.S. China's growth in EVs is what some experts call a Chinese storm in the global industry. It's surprising that what we felt is coming is actually really coming, and it's true. China leads the EV race in part because it controls the supply chain of raw materials for batteries. 28 percent of the world's lithium. 41 percent of cobalt, through stakes in mines on five continents. China also dominates processing for battery components. Then release the brake. Yes. And it just takes over. Government subsidies keep the industry charged, too. And China is now also restricting exports of some key metals in an escalating tech war with the U.S. Right now, Chinese EV companies are scaling up and going global. The challenge for automakers everywhere will be keeping up. Janice Mackey Frayer, NBC News, Hefei, China. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.